Hey everybody, this is Gracie Torres from Caveat of Quarter Horse and Cattle Company. I'm here today to teach you a little bit about rope anatomy. So you'll learn the difference between girl ropes and boy ropes. Just kidding, haha, ha, that's funny. Um, I do want to teach you a little bit about ropes though and, and the proper way to handle them and what different parts are called. Being this is what I know, it's what works for me, so don't harass me as far as the roping technique and the rope uh, building goes. Um, obviously, I'm not going to be doing any roping right the second, but I am going to teach you about the basic parts of the rope and how to build a loop. And this part, for starters, is your tail, okay? This goes on the left side of the horse's neck, and then you're going to hold your reins in your left hand, and your coils will go in your left hand. Now, this part is called your loop, okay? Your loop makes a loop. Your coils, again, this part in between your two hands is the slack. This is the Honda. Can you see that? Your Honda. And the distance between your Honda and your hand is called your spoke. So this part here. A lot of people say you want that to be armpit length. So that's a good way to judge it. When you're building your loop, um, you're going to slide your Honda back until you run out of room. Drop a coil. Flip your hand back. Like so. Re-grab. Like this. Maybe I need to turn this way so you guys can see that. Slide your Honda back. Until you run out of room, drop that coil, swing your loop back like that, and then re-grab it, okay? If you're going to measure, that's about armpit length, so that's a good judge. I throw a little bit of a bigger loop than most people do. I'm not a team roper. I have no idea about team roping. I just do some ranch roping, and I don't know a lot. I just know enough to be dangerous, so don't quote me on any of this stuff. I'm just trying to help you guys out in case you want to go hit up the ranch um, the ranch riding and do some trail or something like that or even if you want to try the ranch roping um, if you really want to learn this is a good way to get started so again the slack is in between your two hands this is your loop right here this is your Honda right here that little guy and then the distance between your hand and the Honda is called what the spoke that's correct that's all I'm going to teach you today about roping but we can talk a little bit later about some work. I would like to see you later.